Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews Nope. And today we're going to get into a quick question with a detailed answer. And this one we're going to get into how to disable the small picture in the lock screen and disable the user interface. Now, about this point, I will be showing a image which you might recognize as far as the email for whatever reason Microsoft decided to if, if you have a Microsoft account connected to your Windows account which they encourage to get more out of your system and I personally encourage that too but if you have that then for whatever reason on the lock screen your email will be shown obviously this is not my email it's just a generic one I got for a generic image I got from the internet so, with this, uh, one, one thing I want to mention is this will help you on that, but it's not a 100% fix. It's the best as I could find at this time. Maybe Microsoft will fix this permanently, but at this time, this is the best as I could find. It's a fix that I don't use because I don't like the look of it. And what it looks like is... Um, in fact, the following, the first image, and this is off my computer, the first image is if you lock the computer itself, you notice that it doesn't give you the option to see the person's email address or anything. This interface is the exact same as you'll get if you're doing something on a domain server on a uh, most companies' government or other organizations that uses servers to where you can log into any computer and you can still get the same desktop and everything. This is the same interface as you'll get on older Windows systems. This is fine, but on a newer one, I like the look of the newer layout, and this is definitely not it. And as far as this portion, the uh, this is what it looks like when you go to switch users or just say other user or something. So it's simple as that. But you don't see the user interface, user um, information, the emails, the usernames or anything like that. And this is on a local computer. This is not on a server. This is not on anything other than a home computer, a local computer and um that's one thing to keep in mind because of this you will need to know your username and password so there can't be a guessing game on this it's kind of like if you're working for a company in fact it's exactly like if you're working for a company you will need to know exactly your username and password so as far as that goes let's uh, jump on in now to do this First things first is you will be needing to go into the registry. Because of this, I legally have to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong on your computer, nor anything that goes right, because it's all on you, on what you do. If you're not familiar with the registry, it's very powerful, and if you do something wrong, then you can easily mess up your entire operating system. But if you follow through what I say, exactly then you should be fine but because i have no control over your actions i am not responsible for anything good or bad that happens on your machine so and and if you're not sure about your skills watch the video fully if you need to watch it a second time go ahead but ask questions that's why i'm here ask questions and i'll help you as best as i can but i'm not going to go i'm not going to sit down and do a teleconference or anything with you you, you got to be able to just step up and take it. So with this, uh, to get to the registry, you need to hold down the W and R key at the same time, and this will bring up run. Type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, so R-E-G edit, and this will bring up the registry. I already have it up. Now, one thing I want to mention at this point is the stuff that we need to go to is on several spots 
and I'll show you two of the spots. The first one, if you go to scroll all the way up, H key local machine software, and both of them are H key local machine software, Microsoft, and go all the way down to Windows current version policy and then system this is one area and the other one if you go to where it says software and if you keep going down to I think it's here it is I was skipping over it W W uh, WOW6432 node and then go down to Windows current version same as before and go to system those are two places the place I advise is the H key local machine software Microsoft Windows current version policies and then system that's one I advise to go to either one will work so keep that in mind you can there's multiple ways to tackle this but at the end of the day is coming there now as far as this goes what you need to do is is look for the following don't display and push this out a little bit don't display less username it should say zero change this double click on it and change the va value data to one so we're doing binary and press ok next you need to go to the bottom very bottom right click go to new and go down to d worth 32 bit value click on that then type in the following type in don't display lock user ID double click on that and just do a three and that way it, it doesn't do that so with this there's um for me I was able to test it like this by just going to lock screen at this point and going from there I can't record and go to lock screen because how the recorder is set up so the picture that in fact i'll be showing is what you should be able to see if you don't see that it's fine it's fine restart the computer and when you come back you will notice the change happening many things that you do in the registry it does require a restart for that to take effect so that's one thing to keep in mind and um and this for me i was able to automatically see it when um when i um actually done it but on your computer it could be different but anyways that's uh that's it now let's say that you're like me and you don't like this how do you reverse this simply go to don't display locked user id right click it go delete and press yes and then go to don't display last username and select zero and there you go and that's that so as far as that goes if you do have any questions let me know and as far as everything else again if if you're not comfortable with this then don't do it as far as going in registry but you, if you are comfortable with it go ahead and do it but keep in mind that if you go to the wrong thing if you go to a different file all entirely if you do something else you can really mess up your computer so do exactly and make sure that you did exactly and as far as some of the stuff I will have the uh, stuff you got to type in the specifically the don't display locked user id in the description so you can just do a copy and paste if that makes you more comfortable 
But anyways, uh, if you do have any questions, you know where to get me. And if you want to add any more information into this, then feel free to leave that down below. And also, please feel free to help us grow by going to Patreon and donating there. But please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and share so I can help as many people as possible. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder of Type Feeds Nope, and hope you have a great day.